Hi, my name is Amy. I'm a veterinary assistant here at Dove Lewis, and today I'm going to demonstrate how to wrap a cat for restraint for an IV catheter or any front leg injection. So this is really useful for cats that are um, fractious, aggressive, really wiggly, maybe even got some IM sedation that's not working that well, but we can't give them any additional. So this is a really good way to do a low stress restraint for kitties. You don't have to scruff them. All of their limbs are wrapped up. They're not gonna be able to scratch or bite. Um, so first you start with two regular sized bath towels laid over the corner of the table. Then choose a leg you want out for the IV catheter. And it's basically like when you swaddle an infant. So you wanna take the first towel and this part's kind of key. So this is gonna keep this bottom leg in. So you wanna keep this up tight against the kitty like that, keeping their leg out. So wrap over the top of the kitty starting with the side you have the leg tucked in and keeping it nice and snug the whole time. Coming around the back, this will ensure that they can't kick you with their back legs while you're restraining. Last, take the final side and wrap it around. So then you have your first layer. So I always do a second layer going the opposite way just to ensure they can't wiggle out of it. It also helps you hold them better, which you'll see in a second. So the second layer, I go the opposite direction I did with the first. And of course, this kitty's holding really still. Usually they're squirming and kicking, but still able to do this. So same thing going around the back, tuck the back in. So now he's perfectly compressed in this towel, it's sort of the thunder shirt mentality, provides them with a little more stability. Oftentimes kitties in this position are aggressive, fractious, um, or you just need to really be concentrating on restraining for the catheter, holding the leg out, and you don't really wanna be worried about where their teeth are. So you can put a cat mask on them. Also, if they're having any kind of respiratory issue, you can do this on the little bit of a looser side and you can actually hold oxygen right at the end of this because scruffing a cat um, who's already in respiratory distress or is scared or aggressive is usually not the best way to go. It's just gonna make them more aggressive. So give that a little tug and then you can actually move right to the end of the table. Um, just imagine your technicians here are gonna place the IV catheter. So all you have to do is snug the cat to your side Using your elbow, I'm not even holding him at all. I'm just kind of pressing the towels against my rib cage with my elbow. Gently hold the mask out of the way, and then you're ready to go for the catheter. And that's how you do a cat burrito.